Cheers, everyone. It's your boy, SLS. We are here. Of course, you guys see we got the Horizon Arma Typhoon 6S right there, boy. Got the big boy soldering out. <clears throat> We've been out of the hobby for a good little minute. <clears throat> and these two boxes right here, we literally got rid of all our stuff last year. Well, the year before that, we got rid of all our stuff, the DX9 and so forth and everything like that. Our fast shark goggles and everything. We got rid of our whole freaking setup. So now we starting completely all over. I was thinking about doing a series build, but me, I love the way I do things. Try to knock it out in fucking maybe two, three days. But, uh... As you guys can see here in this box right here, we have the Fast Shark Dominators, which is the Avatar HDs, right? So, <clears throat> when I first started in the hobby, and of course I ordered the good old polarized True RC antennas for a man. <clears throat> we was running analog. Okay, there was nothing digital at that time until DJI came out. And then everybody started rocking DJI because DJI was the only official digital setup FPV system that you can get for your drones and everything like that. So a lot of us was still running analog cameras, VTXs, and everything and so forth. So now, back into it, we're literally going to run straight the high definition stuff, which is the new shit, the HD. So these are the Fast Shark Dominator. Avatar HDs, which is <clears throat> aka <clears throat> the walk snails, or whatever I can't remember the name of the cargoes was. And in this box right here, we got the Radio Master Pocket, which is a great ass transmitter. I've seen great reviews on this thing right here. And this is running the new protocol, which is the E, the Express LRS which is the ELRS, which is Express LRS, which is the new stuff that's out there, man. And we're literally going to be running <clears throat> this new stuff, which is like OpenTX. If a lot of you guys remember back in the day, we had OpenTX where, you know, guys, they can modify programs and everything that we can run for our drones and everything and so forth. So that's kind of what their radio master is right there. It's kind of the open source for programming and stuff like that where you can program your own stuff up into it and shit like that but this time we rock in the team black sheep right here baby the team black sheep this is the source one frame that we have here the v5 yes sir this is the source one v5 frame right here from trappy team black sheep baby a five inch frame this is what we rocking this time a five inch frame we're gonna start out with and of course you guys know you always get the traffic stickers and shit right there boy look at that look at that little transmitter he got looks like the almost like the radio master pocket but it's the other one with the tbs crossfire <clears throat> that's right tbs crossfire and over here we got a few other things we got a fox here another express lrs receiver that I can bound to the transmitter right there and we got some three bladed props right here that lights up from gym fans we're going to test out the ice light three pro three bladed props and these right here I want to say the pitch on those are like the five by four by fives or something like that is what the pitch is on those and that's some braided wire that we're going to run for the ESCs <clears throat> but I'm sorry for the motors. And these are the race cue props right there, the hurricanes. And the thing about it is, back in the day, we ran uh, individual ESCs, right? So now they got out stack ESCs and shit now, right? So that's what I'm gonna be running for the system. And these are the new LEDs they got out now, man, where you can literally, and I can't wait. Because as you guys can see right here, I can cut off the motor wires and start the motor wires 
directly to these pads right here and the other side right here these pads right here will be going directly to the ESC stack <clears throat> and here go another we run another happy model which this is a dual revert RX antenna express R express LRS antenna so we got two of those antennas and we got our 13 or 18 650 milliamp batteries which is 3800 milliamps 18650s and this is the flight controller stack that we are running we are running the speedy b and this is the all-in-one this stack right here and basically what this is this is your esc your flight controller all in one and the ESCs on these are 55 amp ESCs, if I do remember. And they it is running Betaflight, the, BO, the BOS. Okay, I'm sorry. These are the 50 amp ESCs. I thought I ordered the fucking 55. But anyway, it's 3 to 6 S LiPo. So these stacks. Oh, no wonder why it ain't coming off. The stickers are right there. But anyway, <clears throat> we run the Speedy B. The Speedy B stack, ESC stack with the Volex motors right here. And if I'm not mistaken, these are the 19, yeah, the 1950 KVs, 2207 1950 KVs. This is what I ran on my, I want to say I had on my uh, Luminaire QAV 250. Those are some pretty good motors. They will handle the power, boy. They will handle the power. And we have our M5 purple lock nut washers <clears throat> to go down on the ESC. So that's kind of what we have right here, ladies and gentlemen. Only thing that we are missing is our camera with our DTX and we have ordered that and waiting for it to come in it was on back order and it's going to be the walk snail I want to say the 35 megabyte uh, HD Pro <clears throat> version that I want <clears throat> because the camera they put on that you can actually see at night it has a night vision uh, camera on it. And I'm thinking about using this thing for a little bit of night patrol at work. So, yes, sir. So, uh, we got some stuff to do here, guys. Got to go ahead and get this frame out. And that's what I like about this because it's got a power distribution board all at all in one. This is an all in one. That's what they call it. AIO It's an all in one. So, as you guys can see how it looks and once we start to get it together we will do another little quick little video on what she looks like and probably do a, a quick video on the aftermath so thanks for watching you guys have a blessed day this is your boy and i'm out